Mike Sports Vibes. Thank you for vibing with me. I would be lying to y'all if I said this was not personal. And the reason why I say this because it's Philly everything besides football over here. When it comes to football, I'm rocking with the purple and gold, the Minnesota Vikings. The Minnesota Vikings versus the Philadelphia Eagles. The mighty Minnesota Vikings versus the Philadelphia Eagles. All my family are Eagle fans, and I got a problem with that. All my family members are Steeler fans, and I got a problem with that because they picked the wrong team. They chose the wrong team. So for this whole NFL season, they are enemies, y'all. They're <laughs> enemies to me. Not literally. Y'all know what I'm saying. But this is personal, man. I want bragging rights, man. I want bragging rights. I'm tired of them talking trash on the mighty Minnesota Vikings. And best believe... Talk that yeah, talk. talk. Best believe I'm going live for every single game this upcoming season. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. Let's go Vikings. What I expect from the Minnesota Vikings, I'm not really sure what players are going to play. But I will say this. I want to see every... I'm going to see the starters play. I'm going to keep it real. It's probably not realistic because they're going to think of injuries, injuries, injuries. I want to see them play at least two possessions. I'm thinking positive, y'all, that they're going to play two possessions and they're not going to get hurt and they're going to stay healthy throughout the whole entire season. I'm thinking positive. I'm thinking optimistic. I, I'm, I just don't want to think that every time we our players play, somebody's going to get hurt. I don't want to think like that. It's not fun being a fan if I feel like every time they get on the dang on field, somebody's going to get hurt. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. But let me get back to what I was saying. When I mean personal is I'm tired of hearing Eagle fans talk trash on my squad. Man. I'm tired of hearing Steeler fans saying they got six Super Bowls. I'm tired of hearing Eagle fans say we got one Super Bowl. They got lucky and they had a backup quarterback and they, they, they lucked up on a dang on Super Bowl. I'm tired of hearing about that, man. I am tired of it. So I want bragging rights. I want us to destroy, obliterate the Eagles in the last preseason, the finale preseason game. I want us to uh, uh, not eliminate, but you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Let's go, Vikings, man. So what I want to see is this. Let's start with the quarterback, Sam Darnold. I don't know if he's going to play. I hope he's going to play. I just want him to be solid. I just want him to make the, the open pass. I just want him to, if. The play doesn't seem like it's going to work, right? You get up to the line, you about to hike the ball, you need to do the dang on audible, bro. I know this ain't Madden. You got to go by what Kevin O'Connell says for the most time, but I'm pretty sure Kevin O'Connell said to Sam Darnold, if something don't look right, audible out of it. Do something else. I hope he has that much confidence in Sam Darnold. I really do. I want to see Sam Darnold make the, the wide open throws with a lot of touch and a lot of confidence. I want to see his command in that. In, in the uh in the huddle, I want to see his confident level, even if he does make a mistake. Say he does throw an interception or he doesn't feel the pressure in the pocket and he gets sacked. I don't want him to put his head down. I want to I want to see him put his head high and make the next play. That's what I want to see from our starting quarterback. That's what I want to see from Sammy Darnold, Sammy D. Let's go. And best believe we are riding with you, Sam. We are riding with you, Sammy. We don't care about no Russell Wilson. I know I don't. I'm going to keep it real. I don't want them to do it, Russell Wilson. But I want to see you play, bro. I want to see you shine and ball out for this whole season. Sammy D, we got your back, my brother. We got your back. I just need you. To make sure you ball out this whole entire season. That's all. Easier said than done. Things are going to happen. But it's how you battle back from the bad things. Because there's going to be some, some messed up things that's going to happen. When it comes to interceptions and all that. It's going to be some things. There's going to be some sacks. There's going to be some fumble recoveries. There's going to be some stuff that's going to happen. But how do you battle back from all of that, man? That's what I want to see from Sammy D. Sam Darnold, let's go, baby. We rocking with you, brother. Now, let's get to the trenches, y'all. What I expect and what I want. I want to see our starting offensive line, brother. I have full confidence in the tackles. Darrell Saul, and I have full confidence in Brian O'Neill. I really do. I absolutely do. But when it comes to the middle of that offensive line, my confidence goes from this to that. 
this to that. And if, I'm not sure if you see it, this to that, right? And I don't want to think like that. I want to think overly optimistic and confident, but I got to see it to believe it. Look, Bradbury, I want to see you play. I want to see how you ball out. I want to see how you improve from last season. When it comes to Ed Agram, I want to see how you improve from last season. Dalton Reisner, I want to see how you improve from last season. When it comes to pass blocking and all that. I want to see, I want to see the improvements. I want to see, because I don't want to wait until week five or week ten. Oh, we need to get an offensive guard. No. No. We're not doing that this year, y'all. Kevin O'Connor, I need you to, to be, don't be nice this year, man. If someone ain't balling out, he can't start. Don't be nice this year, man. If someone ain't doing what he needs to do and he ain't doing his job at the level that you want him to do it, don't be nice anymore. And that goes for the defensive side of the ball, too. It goes for every aspect of the team because you are the head coach. Special teams, defense, offense. I need you to be on point with that, man. Being nice sometimes don't get you to the promised land. That means to a Super Bowl. Can I talk that talk? Talk that talk. Y'all know the vibes, man. Y'all know the vibes. But let's get to, hmm, what's, what's another group? Let's get to the wide receivers. Sherfield, that bull Jalen Naylor, that bull Tristan Jackson, number eight. That's my guy right there, number eight. I don't know who's going to be wide receiver three. Brandon Powell, I don't know who's going to be wide receiver three, man. We got a lot of dogs in that wide receiver room. I'm not worrying about that bull Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison. They wanted to. It is what it is with that. They, that they're the best tandem at wide receiver in the whole NFL. Better than any tandem. And you can put in the comments below and let me know how you feel about that. But I, I do want to see. This is what I want to see. I want to see Justin Jefferson play. I want to see him get touchdown pass from that bull Sammy D. I want to see him do the gritty on Darius Slater. It's personal with me, man. I want the Eagles to lose. I want them to get a beat down. Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes. I want to see Jordan Addison do the gritty too. I want to see Tristan Jackson do the gritty too. I want to see Sherfield. I want to see all the wide receivers do the gritty on the secondary of the Eagles all dang on game. That's what I expect and that's what I want. We don't want no injuries. But at the same time, in between time, we have to make sure all the players get those cobwebs off of them, man. We got it because week one against the Giants must win, bro. We can't go week one and lose to the dang old Giants. I don't want to see it. I don't even want to believe. I don't even want to say it out my mouth because I don't want it to come true. I'm not going to speak that into existence. We will beat the Giants, but I want to just warm up. Oh, this is a warm up game. The Eagles is just a little warm up game into the real game, regular season game. But all right, so the wide receivers, I can't wait to see what's going on with that. I cannot wait to see who's going to shine in the last preseason game, right? When it comes to the tight ends, Nick Muse and the guys, I, 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 we're going to see. TJ Hawkinson was such a big part of this offense last season. The tight end position as a whole is a big part of the offense. And who's going to be the tight end to step up? Is it going to be Josh Oliver? Who, who is it going to be? We shall see. Make the catches, block, and let's let's. Get the job done. Do the job at the highest level so we can have confidence in our tight end position until TJ Hawkinson comes back because he is the, a top three tight end in the NFL right now. And that's a fact. I don't care, bro. That's just my opinion, but it's a fact, too. It's a fact. Look up the numbers. TJ Hawkinson, that bull. He really that bull. All right, so look, we talked about the quarterback. We talked about the offensive line. We talked about the wide receiver. We talked about the tight ends. Uh, we talked about the coaching and him making moves and making the tough decisions. If you if, if someone ain't balling, it is what it is. Get them off. The, now nah, I don't say get off get them off the team, but he got to go to the bench. Now let's get to the defensive side of the ball. Brian Flores, Brian Flores. I have so much confidence in Brian Flores, and what I expect against the Eagles in the finale game is a straight up beat down of the Eagles offensive line. I don't care that they have one of the best offensive lines. I don't know if they're gonna play their starters. If they do, destroy them. Dallas Turner, Jonathan Gennard. Do your dang on thing. And everybody else, do your dang on thing. But my whole thing is this, right? My biggest concern on that defensive line, I'm going to keep it real with y'all, man, is the defensive tackle position. How is Harrison Phillips? How do y'all feel about the defensive tackle position for the Minnesota Vikings? How do you feel about 
Roy, how do you feel about Tillery? How do you feel about these dudes? Levi Rodriguez, how do you feel? Do you, are you confident enough that we can stop the dangle run? Because it starts there. You stop the run and not just stop the run as a defensive tackle. Put, apply that pressure to the Eagles interior offensive line and push them backwards into their quarterback. Let me say that again. Apply that pressure in the interior of the offensive line of the Eagles and push them back on their quarterback. You know what I mean? You need to not just have pressure from the outside. You have to have pressure from the inside as well. That's just my opinion. And in order to beat an Eagle team with a good quarterback like Jalen Hurts, because I'm not going to hate on Jalen Hurts. I don't, I don't like that he's on the Eagles, but he's one of those quarterbacks that you got to really, you got to contain him, but ha putting pressure on him from the inside is, is I feel like it's more important than the outside pressure. That's just my opinion. From the defensive ends, it's, it's, it's important. Don't get me wrong. But that middle pressure from the defensive tackle spot, I think it's more important. And I also want to see this. There's a couple of players that I really want to see shine and ball out. I'm going to start with Ivan Pace Jr. For him to be an undrafted free agent, people were trying to say, the scouts were trying to say, that's why he wasn't drafted and the Minnesota Vikings locked up and they got him, right? They were trying to say his arm length is, is too small. They tried to say his... The, he's not the traditional size for a linebacker. He's not as tall. He's too short. He doesn't weigh enough. Is this and that, right? I just want him to keep doing what he's doing. Don't change nothing from last season to this season. Well, I don't want to say that. You want to improve every year. But I just truly feel like he's got that it factor. And I, I have a feeling he's going to take another step. I want to see that next step. Not missing tackles as much. And when it comes to applying pressure to the quarterback, when it comes to the blitz, he's good. But I want to see a little bit more when it comes to the coverage. You know what I mean? When it comes to Lewis Seen, now this is a guy that I am cheering for, man. Like, I'm really cheering for Lewis Seen. And I just hope that, man, he balls out from last week. Against the Las Vegas Raiders, he obliterated them. He did the dangle thing. He was all over the field making tackles. I am expecting him to have 10 plus tackles i am expecting him to make a big tackle i'm not saying knock someone's helmet off or whatever but he's gonna make a big tackle we're gonna be like oh my goodness it's probably gonna be on i'm calling it right now, it's gonna be on a running back whoever their running back is look out look out because that bull lewis scene is coming he's going to get an interception he's going to probably get a sack it's go i just hope to see this this is what i expect this is what i want from lewis scene because i really want him to make this team i want him to get his career to the point where yeah he's not a bust he was just hurt and he had to you know what i mean get his feet up under him sometimes it takes a while for players to develop and to come into their own in the nfl because there's levels to the game from so hopefully that bull lewis scene can do his thing now you know what i mean that's what i'm hoping now let me say this. On the kickoffs, we have to make sure we make the tackles. I don't want to see the Eagles run all the way to the 50-yard line on a kickoff return. I don't want to see that. Special teams has to be on point. Has to be. When it comes to, let's think about the uh, quarterbacks, the quarterbacks, the quarterbacks, one more time. We are definitely rocking with Sam, but I want to say this. Nick Mullins, just be solid, bro. I got nothing to say about Anything else? You were good last game. Keep it up, bro. Keep it up. Jaron Hall, I need you to really apply that pressure to Nick Mullins for that second string quarterback spot, man. Like, put some, press put some pressure on him. Make some plays. Let's go, baby. Do what you did last week. But even better. Let's go. Matt Corral, I just want you to do something more than what you did last game against the Raiders. They put you in a bad position. So that's not, it's not really your fault, but just do something more. But that's all I got to say about that. Please leave in the comments below, ladies and gentlemen, what you want to see, what you expect from the Minnesota Vikings in this last preseason game, the game finale in the preseason. What players do you want to see? And give me a final score prediction. Let's beat the Eagles, man. Let's beat the brakes off the Eagles. Let's go Vikings. Let's go to the bone. This is the end of the video. I truly appreciate you vibing with the bull. Make sure you hit that subscribe and like button. I'm out.